Achieving gender equality in any country is a tall task, but to perhaps an even taller one throughout Asia, where cultural norms can make change difficult. To address this gender gap in this region, a four-day forum began this Monday in Seoul, with more than two dozen high-profile women taking part. Our Shin Semin was there for this report. 25 women from 17 countries who are prominent in their fields have gathered in Seoul for the Asia Women Leaders Program, where the priority will be on addressing gender gaps mainly in the Asia-Pacific region. Astrid Tuminez, who is regional director for Microsoft, opened the forum with a keynote address. In it, she said that having more educated women doesn't necessarily translate into more women leaders, particularly in Asia, because of cultural factors. She called on companies and corporations to take the initiative and invest in women as a resource. Corporations should make the time and space and give the resources because they can't afford not to. Why can't corporations afford not to? First, there is a shortage of human talent, a shortage of human capital. And as the labor force shrinks, you are going to have to draw your talent from the women. According to a recent report by the Korean Women's Development Institute, which is hosting the forum, Korea's lagging female economic participation rate over the past 13 years has amounted to 192 billion U.S. dollars in social costs. And while Korea has invested in trying to narrow the gender gap in the workplace, one of the forum's participants says instituting change goes beyond a set of policies. Government funds and support systems should not just be announced. They must be implemented and permeate a company's culture. Companies should not just follow these policies. They must also consider the distinctive characteristics of women. An understanding and thoughtful culture should be implemented. The chairman of Industrial Bank of Korea says guaranteeing a balanced work life for women will eventually become a great asset that will increase the nation's competitiveness globally. Shin Se-min, Arirang News.